You know, it's that robotic voice on the other end of the phone. None of us want to ever hear when we answer. Robocalls hit record highs in the U.S. before the pandemic. So tonight we're asking a very simple question. We're asking it to lawmakers. How do you stop these things? We're taking a look what we can do, what they can do, what anybody can do, and what's being done by others to stop these things. Americans got 58.5 billion of them in 2019, the most in history, according to Umail, a company that develops robocall blocking software. The robocalls, you could eventually give up information that can be detrimental to um, you, your finances. So how do you stop these calls? Tip number one, put your number on the Federal Trade Commission's do not call list. Problem is, though, scammers don't care about the do not call list. The Federal Trade Commission told us another thing you can do to stop the calls is hang up as soon as you get a robocall and make sure you block that specific number. And that made us wonder, if we got a brand new phone, surely it would be free of robocalls, right? Our Tegna investigative team decided to find out. We bought 14 brand new cell phones spread out in cities all over the country, mine being one of them right here in Charlotte. And all of those 14 phones started getting robocalls just days after activation. Odd thing is, I never made a call or a text from that phone. But they send me texts and leave me voicemails on a phone I don't even use. We questioned Will Maxson with the FTC anti-fraud department about it. So how did I get a robocall when I've never used this phone? It would depend on you know, probably where that number came from. Meaning, if I got a number that used to belong to somebody else and they were on a robocall list, then my brand new phone is on that list too. Tip number three to stop the calls. Download a robocall blocking app. They do work. And ask your carrier what they're doing to protect you. Chances are you can take action on the phone with spam filters you already have available in your network. It's aggravating. You know, so I'm curious. You work for Verizon. Yep. Yep. Do you get them? I do. I do. We get them and so do people working at the cell phone carrier companies. Verizon says it has protected 75 million of their customers from 9 billion robocalls. Think how many people get illegal and unwanted robocalls. This is a huge issue for Americans. Billy Howard is a Tampa lawyer who founded the consumer protection firm. They have fought and won three judgments totaling $11 million against robocallers. But why is it getting worse? It's getting worse because it's becoming easier and easier and cheaper and cheaper to call people without their consent. I can turn a laptop into an auto dialer for about $1,000 that will call a million people per hour. Here's the final tip, albeit a little drastic. Activate the do not disturb function on your phone. That will block every number from calling your phone except your most trusted contacts or favorites to ensure robocallers cannot reach you. Think about that number, a million calls in an hour from a laptop. It might explain why so many of us get so many calls. And I couldn't believe when I activated that burner phone that I bought, I started getting calls and text messages on that phone within hours of activating it. I couldn't believe it. One last thing, if you're willing to make the effort, you know, the FTC, they do want to hear from you. They want you to report every robo call you get. And the way to do it is do not call dot gov. They say that helps them unravel all the algorithms used by the computer programs behind these robocalls. Hopefully we'll get them stopped. Yeah.